Hey class, I'm Mr Thornton, you've got 8 days until May, and I'm going to help you succeed in your GCSE. This lesson, 4 more commenter tips. Danji Falangi, Monosore IO, and Kerry Andrews all suggested Memrise. This is an excellent website and app for learning long lists of things. It's particularly good for learning vocabulary for languages, although there are various other things which you can learn on there as well. It's similar to Forrest in that it uses a plant metaphor, only in this case, the plant represents your memories. And you've got to keep watering those memories by revisiting and testing yourself on them in order to keep them growing. It's a good resource and one which I've used myself in the past, and it's available on lots of different platforms, so give it a try. Thomas Barker reminded me of something which I really should have mentioned sooner, which is BBC Bite Size. In addition to the website, they also have an app now. So all the stuff which is on the website is also available on your phone or tablet. They have recently updated the website and moved some things around, so if you're looking for things by exam board, it's pretty easy. Just Google the topic which you're looking for and the name of your exam board, and you should be able to go direct to the page which you need. Lucy Hargreaves wrote in response to my video where I was talking about what equipment you need for your exams. She mentioned that some schools now don't allow you to take water bottles into the exam either, even if they don't have a label on them. Your school will probably have posters up telling you exactly what you're allowed in an exam, plus they may well give you an assembly just running through things again so that you know correct procedure. So pay attention to what you are and are not allowed to have. If you are allowed to have a water bottle, it's probably a good idea, but if you aren't, you need to know. <laughs> Finally, Janine Ungersang suggested changing the words to a song which you like to something which you're having trouble learning. We all end up learning the words to all sorts of different songs, and so she says she would take the words of a pop song and change them to whatever it is she's revising at the moment. You can then play that song, sing along the new words which you've come up with, and it will really help you embed that topic in your memory. I would give you an example, but I'm not much of a singer. I hope that video really helped you. If it did, it really helps my channel when you like, subscribe, and share these videos. Let people know I'm going to succeed in my GCSE. All the links and info for this video are in the description, and please let me know what you thought in the comments or on Twitter at MrThorntonUK, or use the hashtag SucceedInMyGCSE. There are loads more GCSE science videos on my channel too. Here's another one which YouTube thinks you might find useful. You can click my picture just here to subscribe, click down there to check how well you understood with the Snap Quiz website and app, and you can click just here to get my revision guides. Good luck in your GCSEs everyone, and thanks very much for watching.